Learning from failure means to explore how you were taught about learning itself. What did your surroundings and your culture teach you about what it means when something goes wrong and what it means to make mistakes? There is an ancient Siberian myth which says that whenever something difficult happens to you, a part of you becomes separate. In that broken space, a demon can take its seat and feed from what hurts you. But if you come back to explore what created this rupture, you can reunite those separate parts. I think there's a fundamental factor that affects that. In the private sector, you have lots of money, but very few profitable opportunities. And so failure is accepted. I think that, you know, the project, whether it's success or failures, these are really with very much about relevance. In the social entrepreneurship sector, you've got lots of uh, very little money as, composed, as, as compared to the private sector, but there's a whole host of opportunities. There's many things you can work on. So as a result, the bureaucracy that manages these resources focuses very much on risk management. The end result, I think, of that is you get into what the learning specialists call the, the paradox of creativity, where you become extremely creative at fine-tuning very, very small marginal improvements that are not going to cause any significant um, development outcome, but in fact will maximize the success of your project. And so you tend to take very marginal small steps forward, spend a lot of time recycling variations of the same sort of ideas. I basically agree, of course. I think we, we should have taken much more risks, but I also think like the framing conditions, perhaps they had allowed us to take maybe only 50% of the risk that we might have had to take. We're also very conditioned to, even if, you know, we, if we sense this might not work, we start to adapt very quickly, you know, because we know we need to sell this afterwards and we, it's not very well seen very often, even, you know, and we're also good at selling failures as successes. I think we've become quite proficient in that. Um, which, yeah, that's a, that's a conditioning, I think. And I, I do think in terms of the partners, I would even hypothesize that they are even better in doing that. Because there is this transmission between us in the north now and, and the southern partners who very much anticipate in terms what, what do they want, right? What, is, what will be considered a success and, and try to avoid failure. They claim that we have the very big development outcome out of this project, but if you critically look, nothing happened. I really don't think they, they uh, really committed to have the developmental effect of the research, particularly the university researcher in the South North, except few, except few, some are very committed. Never think about the equal partnership if you don't have the money. So if the partnership really has to work, they have to include the southern partner in all the financial decision making, in all the strategic decision making. But it will never happen because it is always the power game. Ariko kuba yatanga nabo hari akenshi usanga badashaka kumva ibitekerezo by'umuntu bafashe none aho gasanga rwose wenda abikoze kubera ko ari umukene ari iki ariko ntabwo bitangaje bita byiza nyeka ko wenda ni nibwo kandi ndaza ko mukuri ibyo bine usanga ari ingenzi cyane Mira depende la perspectiva que te plantees cuando dices que que el proyecto sea fuerte no eh Muchas veces con el Fondo Nacional Suizo y también con nuestros socios de la Universidad de Ginebra, encontramos que ellos están sobre todo preocupados por la publicación de nuestros trabajos de investigación en revistas científicas que sean eh, universalmente aceptadas, ¿no? con los revisores de, de artículos, etcétera, etcétera. 
Para mí, esto es, no tiene ninguna importancia para el caso de Bolivia y los investigadores bolivianos. ¿Qué, qué es lo que puede ganar Bolivia cuando, si publicamos uno o dos artículos en una revista internacional? Eh, en Bolivia no gana nada. Más aún que la gente aquí en nuestro país lee muy poco, no hay mucho menos las revistas internacionales. I mean, who says this is a failure? And, and you know, the, the structural background of these partnerships is that you've got, you've got a scientific community, you've got a scientific evaluation of a project, you've got the development orientation in a project, and then you have partners and, and you've got the capacity building that's very strongly built into these partnerships. Um, these are all different dimensions of failure. And actually, if you're very honest about it, you can say, well, you can't do justice to all of these at the same time. The language you are speaking as a researcher does not resonate well in the audience of development. It's a steep learning curve for especially us researchers that we realize our incompetencies sometimes and that we have to be very honest with whom we then have to work to improve our communication and translate findings into development or policy or other government stakeholders. I was leading a project in uh, the northeast of India with the Nagas, uh, what the Indians call it, one of the hill tribes in Nagaland. The project was a reforestation project and we were trying to focus on, on local tree species. The local alder tree, is, it's, it's endemic to the region, they were unable to um, propagate seedlings from seeds. They didn't know how. And finally they talked to a, a tribal elder. He said, oh, uh, if you touch the seed with your, with your skin, it will it won't grow. And so what you have to do, or there are two things that you can do. He said, one is you go to landslide because they grow in the wet shaded areas, you can just pick the saplings right there. Or two, you can hang the pot up on a tree and let it scatter the seeds naturally in the wind. The only way we got that was, was through this indigenous knowledge. And that's, it was an event like that that really, I found emotionally um, satisfying simply because we were able to effectively reforestate large amounts of, of, of Nagaland, but, but using knowledge that had been generated locally and, and that was unknown to science.